Hello, Blessed Star family. I'm the Magical Medium and welcome to the Spiritual Guidance Channel. Today we are working with the sixth moon phase, the waning gibbous phase. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a return person, welcome back. And thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for liking, subscribing, donating, all of those things. I'm in gratitude, gratitude for all of you. All of you. I apologize. I was moving a little too slow. I, or excuse me. <clears throat> my brain is going faster than my body wants to align. Are you having this in issue as well? Um, so that's okay. You know, spirit just wants you to know that we're in a, um, Ooh, did you see the little fairy come through? Uh, we're in a major transformational phase right now on the planet, like major, and it's going to be going on for quite some time, you know? Um, so they just want us to take it easy. That's why the moon cycles are there. Do you hear that drip of water in the background? That's awesome. Um, that's why the moon cycles are there to show us that every week is a different energy that's coming from the stars, from space, from the universe. I mean, we spoke about this before many times. You can talk to any medical professional that's in an emergency field and they will tell you night or day when that full moon is at its peak and in the shadow before and after is when they are the busiest. And they'll even say, you know, hey, you know, I'm a doctor or whatever. I'm a scientist and, you know, I believe X, Y, and Z, but there's got to be something to that, <laughs> you know? So, you know, we can ignore the energy that's provided for us to work with to learn these lessons, or we can utilize them to our advantage. And so that's why spirit, God, goddess, creator had me design and build this channel with them so that we can really get focused on what it means to be on cycles and phases. So before you today are three separate oracle decks. And so that means three separate readings. Reading one is the answer is simple. Reading two is dark mirror and reading three is fantasy cats. And the theme of today is reflect and release. And this waning gibbous energy what have you been reflecting on? What do you need to release? I had something going on with me personally, and it was just like gnawing at me. It's kind of been gnawing at me for quite some time. And then like, it started coming into my dream state. Um, it didn't matter. It was like, you know, one of those things where you can ignore something, but it's going to keep coming for you. And I've said this a million times, none of us are exempt from it. Until we learn the lessons, they will keep coming. And until we make the changes to improve our lives, it will keep going in the same cycle. You know, um, a lot of ballerina stuff has been coming up for me lately, and I totally forgot until recently that this is actually like, it's a, I thought it was just a leaf at first that the cat was looking at, but it's actually a little ballerina. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So, you know, I feel like that could be coming up for some people, um, even, even with the fucking social media out of control right now. I mean, um, in so many different ways, but with, uh, this whole Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber thing, this is, this is like fucking weird. I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it from a human standpoint and what we've always known and learned, right? Like it's kind of weird. It's like, why are we so obsessed with, people we don't even know, but we love them and we're invested in them, right? So it's just very, 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 very interesting. And I say that because um, the little I know about her, I do know a few things, but I do know that Haley Bieber was studying to be a ballerina. And some say she was actually very, very, very good, but she had an injury and it put her out. Now, I don't know the whole story and I don't know if it's fabricated, but let's just say that it's true. She's even getting shitty stuff from people saying, I, I have that injury. I'm a dancer. Like, yeah, it sucks. It's painful, but like, you can come back from it. You just have to work really fucking hard. You just have to work really hard, you know? So it's like, that could be multiple levels. Maybe she doesn't want to work hard enough for it. Maybe she doesn't want it bad enough. Maybe her injury was different from somebody else's. Maybe her injury was psychological. Maybe she had an injury because she realized she didn't really want to be a ballerina anymore, even if she was good at it. Whatever it is, 
I have no idea why they're having me bring this in. But um, but I've been fascinated with this story. And I feel like the more I'm going in, the more I'm seeing so much of like why spirit is bringing it to our attention, right? Because I've spoke about this before too. Very, very interesting that Haley Bieber's family is very, very Christian, very religious. Her dad fucking carried the Bible in his hand down the aisle and his other arm was with his daughter walking her down the aisle. Now, that's real or that's show. I don't know. None of my fucking business. But I will say this. I find it interesting that Selena is so obviously a natural witch, but not just that. She was even on a show that I found out that she played like a little witch on the Wizards of Waverly Place, I think it was called. And um, just there's just so much shit that's happening in front of us. And I know that it's may seem weird to you where you're like, Lula, why are you harping on this fucking, you know, story and the hype and the bullshit? But I'm not because or I'm saying I am because I started to just realize like all these little weird things keep coming into my orbit for it. That's why I know because I'll be like, is that true? And then I'll sit with spirit. And I'm like, that's fucking interesting. Um, just about Haley's group of friends and how apparently like all of her friends um, have either fooled around with or dated or fucked her husband. That's got to be weird. Um, you know, uh, just interesting, weird, but maybe even really uncomfortable weird. Um, you know, not to mention that like, you know, one of your, your husband's, some of his biggest songs were written about somebody else that he constantly has to sing about, think about, and deep down, you know, he still loves her. It's so obvious he still loves her. I mean, I don't know their, their dynamic, and I'm sure he loves Haley, but I don't know if he's in love with Haley. I don't even know if he's in love with Selena, but, um, but she was definitely his greatest teacher. And I think they were each other's first, their first big love, but um, I think they were each other's first sex. And you can't put that shit off to the side. That stuff is real. It means something. And our childhood trauma leads to our, you know, prepubescent trauma. You know what I mean? Like, it's like this kind of, I mean, when we're in high schoolers and you know this, because if you're watching this right now, most likely you're at least 18 and over, but high school was a tough place to navigate. And it's interesting because you don't really, you know, you have all these hormones and you're coming into your breasts and you're, you know, as a woman and men, you're growing, you know, um, your penis is getting larger, you're growing hair, your body's changing, everything's changing. It's a really, really struggling time. Like it just is, you know, and then outside influences, you've got bullies and your parents and your friends and your family and people pressuring. I mean, so much pressure. And these kids, they've been, you know, I don't want to them kids they're adults now but they're they feel like kids to me um but you know they all grow up they all grew up in a different world in a spotlight in a place that a lot of us didn't grow up in there's a very lean percent of humans that grew up in that elite kind of you know especially you know fame and stuff and what fame has become and what is fame ego the answer is simple it's such a beautiful deck. I love that deck. And don't let the, don't, the interesting thing is don't let the outside of these decks fool you because each one of them has amazing medicine in them, but all three of them deal with the ego. So, you know, it's like, and also spirit says you can look at any picture. You can look at any picture and see something somebody else will not see, right? So everyone is going to read into whatever the story, whatever the situation, people are going to read into this. I'm going to take a screenshot because that's cute. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, I might use that for the cover. Um, you know, but everybody is working from their own level of consciousness. But can you imagine? I mean, think back to what it was like for you to grow up. Now imagine that like amplified on a fucking global scale. Everybody knows your business. Everybody knows what happened to you. Everybody's got their two cents and everybody is living vicariously through you and taking whatever shit is going on in their fucking personal lives and attaching it to these famous people. They all serve a purpose. This serves a purpose. This all serves a purpose. This is the biggest theatrical fucking movie of our lives. This is real. We get to be here during a time that's very rare on this planet. And spirit wants us to see beyond all the bullshit, the rhetoric, the, you know, the third dimensional patriarchal, whatever you want to call it. Look beyond the dark mirror because that's all we are. We're mirrors for each other. You know, um, some people say that uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. 
So when, if that is the case, then, you know, Selena should be so humbled to have someone copy them so much that they, they want to be them so much, even to the point where like, you know, maybe they, she does want to be with him, but maybe, maybe just maybe, maybe they were meant to be together. Maybe Haley and Justin met each other when they were just too young, you know, um, or she was too young for him. And I mean, Selena's older than, than him. He's in the middle of these two women and their ages. It's very fucking interesting. Haley's 26, Justin's 28 and Selena's 30. So, um, I just find it fascinating. And whenever a story comes into my orbit like this, I want to look at it further because it just gives us a deeper example of humanity. And we will never know unless we live their lives, what their lives are like. And we have no idea what the truth is either. There is so much shit going on right now. People fucking say whatever they want to say to make themselves look good. They, you know what I mean? There are so many different things that happen throughout our lives, so many different lessons that are put before us. And it's how we show up for them every single day. After this, I'm going to do a Tallulah talk because I have so much to talk to you guys about, about things that have been going on with the house and our artwork and just like really exciting things. And also, if you can, I am going to put um, in the comment section below, I'm going to pin the connections to contributions if you would like to help out. Oh my gosh, I'm so close to getting this furniture. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. We're about $50 away. Thank you to those of you who've contributed or who've reached out for spirit work. Um, I am willing to work for it, people. Reach out to me um, and let me know. Just let me know in the comments below if you would like to do some spirit work or you can email me. It's in the about section. All my links are in the about section for all of my stuff. And, um, and my other channel, Lula's Life, is also, there's a link to that as well. What I've done is I'm actually pulling the readings and my, like, talks apart. And I, I did that because some of you really like my talks. You're teachers as well. And so when I learn things you want to, you know, a lot of you are like, thank you so much. I learned vicariously through your methods and your teachings and what you're going through and teaching the tribe. So thank you for that support. Uh, Lula's Life is building really quickly. It's really cool. Um, it's fun. It's interesting the things that spirits have me put out into the universe too. Very fucking cool. Um, but on the other side of that and the magical medium, I will continue doing at least eight readings a month. And thank you. Thank you to those of you who, um, contributed uh, to the poll that I just put out. If you can, go in the community section and check out the poll that I put in there. Those are the three readings that I feel like um, are the most that people, I feel like those are the energies that I see the most from other readers and that I feel from spirit as well. So in this reading right now, we're in the reflect and release energy. I don't know what that reading is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be an independent reading or if it's going to be wrapped around a moon phase cycle. I'm not sure. The next cycle is transition and forgiveness. That one is a big one. So I can see us, um, maybe that's why spirit is having us ask that. Um, but then the last moon phase, that's seven. Then the last moon phase is eight and that is rest and restore. So I'm not really sure. Sure. Uh, but I do know that they're gearing me up for another pick a reading after this. So either I'll do, you know, just a tribe reading uh, for the last quarter moon uh, or third quarter moon and the transition and forgiveness phase number seven, or uh, it'll be for another one. I don't know. But either way, if you'd like to... Um, if you are interested, go to the community section and there's a poll there going on to see which uh, readings, whichever one wins is the one I'm going to work on next. And then I'll do them in, in the order that they um, that they go in. Anyway, so I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for being here. And, you know, we have a lot of a lot of things happening on the planet. And I think they're just really wanting us to look at things. Another screenshot. So cute. Um I feel like they're just really wanting us to look at things through a different lens, through a different scope. And the moon helps us do that because, you know, it's like we can physically see it. Even on a rainy, cloudy day, we can feel the energy of the moon. You know, if, even if it's a, a, a stormy night, you still feel the moon. And, you know, it's interesting. They don't have me do a lot of readings around the sun. But when you think about it, it's really interesting because it's they're, the sun and the moon mirror each other. They're the yin and the yang. We can't have one without the other. We need both to survive, right? So, um, you know, think about what it is that you, you know, what are you reflecting? What are you, what have you been reflecting on or what's been coming into your orbit a lot, especially this particular moon cycle? 
in real time. It is Monday, April 10th. It's Moon Day. A magical Moon Day, of course. Uh, I was like, I was going to do the reading yesterday and I was like, oh, no, I'll just do it because last quarter moon readings on Thursday. And so I was like, oh, I like to do it like more in the middle. And then Spirit was like, no, Moon Day. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, I have just been like getting a lot of just a lot of things that have been coming up for me. And I'm wondering if that's happening to you as well. Feel free to comment below. But um, just a lot of stuff from my past has been coming up. Old old relationships, people, not like they're reaching out like through phone or email or anything like that. It's more like I can feel them thinking about me or talking about me or, you know, if somebody's coming into your mindset, there's a reason for it. If, especially if they just come out of the blue, it means they're thinking about you or maybe there's something they're having, you know, a regret or maybe they're thinking about calling you or maybe that's just their way of saying, I don't really want to talk to you anymore, but I'm just sending you love. And whenever that happens, just send them love back. That's what I've been doing. I've just been sending love back. And then this one thing was gnawing at me and gnawing at me for the longest time. And then finally last night, I was like, all right, fine. So I researched it and I found out two major things that happened to people that were in my life or that I knew or you know, are my blood and bone or just like old friends or family. And it was just very, very interesting because I felt that I felt both of those things. And when I saw them, I was like, Oh my gosh, like so many things made sense and fell into place. And I'm like, I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. They're exactly where they're supposed to be. And I don't know if we'll come back around. I really hope we do. But if not, I, I, I got this vibe that like spirit was like, you need to let this go. You need to really let them go. And right? That old saying, if you let it go and it comes back, then it's yours. But if it doesn't, then it was never meant to be. And never meant to be, it's an old, you know, like that phrase, I'm paraphrasing the phrase, but you know, it doesn't mean that it's never meant to be. It just means that sometimes people are in our lives for a brief moment and sometimes they're there for the whole time. And that's okay if you don't have people who you have known since you were born, it's okay if you don't, if you're not connected to any of them anymore. Sometimes you were brought into their lives. If you found yourself here, you are a witch, a healer, and a deep down believer in magic. And you were brought into other people's lives for a reason, to be a mirror, to be the fantasy cat, the mystery black cat. Maybe you're the, you know, what do they call it? The black sheep. But in this situation, you're the black cat. You're the one that the family's like, oh, you're always bringing bad luck, you know, blah, 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 uh, you know, that kind of thing. Or it could be something light and fluffy, like the answer is simple. Maybe you just need to let go of something. Maybe it's just something from your ego that is actually easy to let go of. The answer is simple. It's just, are you ready to really let go of it? So these are your decks. Maybe all of them are speaking to you. Maybe you want to hear all the messages. There's never any harm in listening to them, but just make sure that you're taking what belongs to you and not making something that's not your story, your story just to create more drama or to um, deter you further from your path. Okay. All right, you guys, uh, I'm so excited. So the links for these readings will be in the description box below. And um, I will leave uh, all my other stuff in the comments section as well. And thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. And I'll see you over at your reading. Take good care of yourselves and each other. Blessed be. Oh.